after importing the models after understanding how to import the models we will now shift to another topic that is creation of surface models and line models now what is the meaning of surface models and line models now in the previous chapters that we have seen we have already seen how to create 3d models now in the first chapter if you remember we have already discussed about 2d elements and 1d elements now what are these 2d elements and 1d elements whenever the thickness of the model that we are using for analysis is very very small as compared to the other dimensions what we discussed is you can convert that model into a 2d model now when you convert the model into a 2d model what we are doing is we are simplifying the geometry to reduce the complexity of the analysis similarly whenever you have truss problems uh, beam problems pipe problems what we do is instead of con considering the 3d truss you will be converting that into a 1d geometry so what happens over here the time taken for creating the geometry is also lesser plus the time taken for analysis is also lesser because you are reducing the difficulty level of the problem so here now we will understand if i want to create a surface model or if you want to create a line model for 2d analysis or 1d analysis how will you do that now in the previous example that we did for parameters if you remember the dimensions the thickness of the model was very very small as compared to the other dimensions so if you look at the dimensions if you see these dimensions if you look at the length okay the longest dimension over here is 158 and the thickness or the depth of the model is 12 mm so as compared to the this dimension that is 158 12 mm is very very less so instead of considering this to be 3d we can consider this to be a 2d model so what we can do is we can convert this into a 2d model now for converting this into 2d also there are two methods if you are going to create this as a 2d model what you should do is when you are coming into the geometry tab you create your sketch as you created for 3d Okay, let me set the dimensions and now over here I am again creating the same sketch that I created for understanding the parameters so I will create my circle over here I will give the dimensions to the circles I will also create the distance between the two circles and now I will change the values so this is 158 this is 20 And this over here is 10 units. I will add the constraint between the two. I will add a symmetry constraint over here between them. Okay. And then come over here, copy, copy this line and mirror it. Okay. Then I'm going to draw the other circles over here and also over here. Then I'll give I am going to give the dimensions between this and this. And this has to be 22 units. I will make them symmetrical. Okay. And then I'm going to trim. unwanted sketches once this is done I will add my dimension over here and over here so this is 13 units and this is 19 units after that I will come back into model now in the previous case we added the depth but now what we will do is we will convert this into a surface model directly so for creating this as a surface model you will come into concepts in the main menu bar and we have one option over here surfaces from sketches i will use this option first select your sketch as your base object and then whether this has to be adding material or add frozen i will say that this is adding material thickness if you want you can mention the thickness over here or else you can mention the thickness when we go for analysis we will see how to mention how to give the thickness in analysis 
So now currently I will give the thickness as 0 and I will say generate it. So now you can see that it has been converted as a surface model. This is how you will create the surface model. Similarly, if you want to, if let us say you are, you have created a model in CAD. Okay, so okay now let us look at this example. Okay, if you look at this model also. Now this model as we discussed earlier we have import this, imported this from NXCAD. Now again in this case if you look at the model, if you look at the thickness is very very small as compared to the other dimensions. So now rather than considering this as a 3D model what we can do is we can convert this into a 2D model. Now here we have not created the model over here, we have imported the model. So when you import a 3D geometry from a CAD software which can be converted into 2D, we have one tool over here in tools tab in that is called as mid surface. So what does this option do for us is it will extract the mid surface of the geometry and help us create a surface model. So I will click on mid surface. Now the selection method that we are going to use is manual. So now I have to select the face pairs. Now when you are selecting the face pairs, there is, you need to take care of the selections. I have selected the first pair from inside, then you need to select the opposite side, that is the parallel side of the space. When you are selecting the parallel side of the space, make sure you are pressing your control button. Press your control button and then click. You will see that the color changes. Now go for the second pair. Now when you are selecting the second pair, that time you don't need to click on your, uh, uh, press your control button. I have selected this. When selecting the pair, you have to press your control button. When selecting the first face, you don't have to select control. Second face, you have to select control. Like this, continue and make sure you select all the faces. So you are going to select all the faces like this. One by one, just make sure. And the order of selection also has to be correct. For example, if I have selected first from inside, make sure all the faces are selected. First side should be inside and the second side is outside. So with this, I have selected all the faces. Now we will say apply over here and then we will say generate. Now you will see that the mid surface has been generated. So this is the second method to create a surface model. There are some more options that we have. Let us understand them also, how to create surfaces. Okay, I will come to this geometry. Now if you see we have a solid model over here. In this case I can also extract the mid surface or I can say surfaces from faces. Surfaces from faces you can select a face, apply and I can say add frozen. Add frozen means that gets added as a separate body and we will say generate. Now if you see there are two bodies. One is a solid body and one is a surface body that we've added. Now when you take this into analysis, what we can do is, because there are two separate bodies, I can have a different material for this solid body and I can also have a different material for this. For example, if you are considering a wooden plank, now assume that this is a wooden plank and this is the sun mica that is on that. So I need to give a different material property for the wooden plank and for the sun mica. So, I don't have to create this sun mica separately. What I can do is I can just use surfaces from faces and I can create this as a separate surface. So I have two bodies which can be used for analysis.
So these are some of the options by which you can create surface models. Now we will understand how to create 1D models. Now as discussed, 1D models can be used in cases of trusses, pipes, beams, columns, rods. So we will take one example. I will show you the example first. Okay. We are going to use this, uh, we are going to create this line body. It is a truss problem. So first, let me add the geometry and then I will enter into the geometry. Once you enter into the geometry, please set your unit system and then enter into sketching. Now, I will enter into the sketching tab and I will first create my I will use a polyline to create my first sketch. I will say this has to be open ended and then I will give my dimensions. So this length over here has to be 105 units and this width that is H1 has to be 50 units. And then I am also going to give a symmetric constraint between these two. You also have many other constraints like fixed, horizontal, vertical. Okay, These are very simple to understand. Okay, Now that the sketch is ready, I will come out into the modeling. Okay, Now currently this is a sketch. Now what we are going to do is, we are going to convert this sketch into a line body. So for converting a sketch into a line body, you need to go into concepts and select lines from sketches. So I'll select this option, select your base object. So my base object is this sketch and I will say generate. As soon as you say generate, you will see that that line body is created. But this line body does not have a cross section. Now whenever you create a 1D model, you need to assign a cross section to that 1D model. So now we will create that cross section. Again click on concepts tab and come into cross sections. Now you have all these types of cross sections that can be created in ANSYS Workbench Design Model. I can have a rectangular section, circular section, T section, L section. There are different types of sections. Now for this model I need a L section. As soon as you click on the L section, you will get the L cross section and you will also see the dimensions over here. So in my case, what I am going to do is, I need the W1 to be 3, W2 to be 3, T1 and T2 is 0.5. Okay, so this is my cross section that I have created and now I need to assign this cross section to this line body. So again click on line body, cross section and select L1. So now the cross section has been assigned. Whenever you are working with line bodies and you are assigning some cross section, there is one more important thing that is the cross section orientation. First thing is you need to switch on the uh, visibility of the cross section. So go to view and say cross section solids. As soon as you do that, you will see the cross section. Okay. Now, if I want to change the orientation, it means that the L section that is coming over here like this, I want to reorient it. Select the line filter from here and then select the line. And over here, you can assign some rotational angles. Can you see the orientation changing? Similarly, I want to change the orientation for this and it has to be 180 degrees, so it changes. So in every case, I can assign some orientations. So like this, you can change your orientation of the cross section as per your requirements. Okay, now according to the figure, I need on the opposite side also the same thing. So now what I'm going to do is rather than drawing it again, see what I'm going to do. I come to the create option and over here you have something called as body operations or you can also go for pattern. I will click on the body operation and I am going to say that it has to be translated. Select the bodies that has to be translated. So I will select line body from here up 
apply and direction so direction i'm going to select or i can say coordinates also and according to this now it is in the z direction so i will say it has to be oriented by 50 units and we will say generate so the line body has been translated and my sketch again remains here so what i'm going to do again i will say line from sketches and again i'll add one more line body for this sketch add material generate and i'm going to assign the same cross section to this now i need to add line bodies over here also now in this case if you want you can again create a line over here but now i don't need to create the lines again because in concept you also have something called as lines from points so in that case i will select this point control select the other point add similarly add let's say generate first so that is my first body again i'll go for lines from points I'll select this point control and select the other point and make sure that it is add material so that it gets added into the body and this all these things become as one line body and we will say generate so now you can see that the structure is ready if you want you can see the visibility if you don't want the visibility you can switch off switch it off so this is how you need to create your line bodies now imagine if these structures had different material properties then in that case instead of adding the material you need to make sure that it is add frozen whatever bodies are having different material they should be separate so that you can assign different material properties to each body so that depends on the criteria and according to that you can use add material or add frozen okay so this is how you will create your 1D models. With this, we have completed the modeling part in ANSYS Workbench Design Modeler. Now we know how to create geometries, 3D models, how to create 2D models, how to create 1D models, how to create assemblies, how to add features. There are some more options over here that is in body operations you can use move delete okay if you want to delete anything if you want to delete a body you can use the delete option from here you can also create a mirror option by using the body operations but these body operations will only work on bodies and it will not work on sketches okay you also have some primitives over here which can be used to create uh, predefined shapes like spheres boxes cylinders cones etc okay so you can use all these options as and when required.